Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys may be able to tell, I am not in Texas, I am not in Austin. I'm actually in Connecticut, and I'm going to be here for about a week, and I wanted to take you guys along with me on this next week of being somewhere different. This is actually my first time really being up north. I've been to New York, but I've never been to like the New England area or like the East Coast in the US, and so I'm so pumped to just, like I said, get out of Austin, go to a change of scenery, and be somewhere new and exciting. So my roommate Julia is actually a originally from Connecticut, which is why we decided it was about time to go to her hometown and just visit the city that she grew up in. And so I'm really pumped to meet her family and just to be staying even in her childhood home. It's so sweet and so nostalgic for her. And I cannot wait to take you guys along all the beautiful fall adventures. Fall in Connecticut absolutely is so different than fall in Texas. And I'm so just excited to be around all of the beautiful leaves and to be able to wear fall outfits. I'm super pumped to just take you guys along with me and to film and document all of this for the memories and just to remember this time. And so yeah, you guys, let's do this. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> to recap, today we woke up, well, really waking up has looked like waking up at 10 a.m. I've been sleeping in so much, and you guys probably know from my past vlogs that sleeping in is so not me, but this is vacay, baby. And technically, in mind events, 10 a.m. here in Connecticut is actually 9 a.m. in Austin. So I feel like a little bit better about that, knowing that there's that one hour time difference. I keep telling myself that when I wake up at 10 a.m. I'm like, you know, it's only 9 a.m. in Austin. <laughs> anyway, so we woke up and we spent time with the Lord and we went on a little neighborhood walk. Then we got, oh, then we ate amazing French toast. Amazing. And then made by Julia's mom, which was so sweet of her. And then we went and got lunch at this really cute place called Heirloom Market. I don't know if I'm making that up. Y'all probably already saw at this point. Um, and then we went to a pumpkin patch and just got to explore. It's just so cute in fall and absolutely just beautiful here with all the leaves and so different than anything you see in Texas. So did that and enjoyed that. And then we actually were going to go to an apple orchid, orchid, orchard. I keep getting that wrong. I know an orchid is a flower, so orchard, an apple orchard, but it was actually closed for apple picking, which was kind of a bummer, but that was okay. We got to go to the like, cute little market and go see all the apples and bought some apple cider donuts, which I still haven't tried, but we need to try because we have them. And then we actually got to go over to my roommate Julia's older sister's house, and it was so cool because I followed her older sister for like two years on Instagram up to this point and I've never met her in person so I got to meet her sisters actually both of her sisters two of her sisters in person tonight and just got to hang out have a girls night we had pizza and we talked about life and talked about Jesus and it was so much fun and so now it is 11 p.m. 11 p.m. ding 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 and actually, no, I think it's closer to 11.30 now that I'm actually thinking about the time. But I am going to go to bed and take you guys along with me to tomorrow. And every single day so far has just been super loosely planned. Ultimately, we want to go and explore and have fun. But we also want to give ourselves space to rest and go with the flow and not have anything like super duper on the agenda. <laughs> so I hope you guys are enjoying just all of these moments so far. It's been so fun to capture and I cannot wait wait to look back on all of this once it's all said and done and having these moments captured forever just truly mean more to me than absolutely anything so i probably need to get ready for bed so i'll talk to you guys tomorrow good night guys or good morning or good afternoon this called I don't know what are they called it's like a it's, it's like a a called a pie. sea salt yeah popcorn pie okay we're gonna eat it sea salt we got sea salt caramel with chocolate as the base yeah pizza popcorn pizza <laughs> <and dream. laughs> I know literally never actually with chocolate this is my bottom. favorite popcorn's my favorite all together with caramel with chocolate just, yes I know let's it's a dream. I see we just break off and try. One for you. Oh yeah. Good? Good. One for you. For me? Thank you. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Is 
or more. Yeah. That was good. How much sugar have we eaten on this trip, you guys? Oh, literally every you know. day. Something every day. Could be worse. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Do I have chocolate in my teeth? I might. I said that so weird. Okay. Hey guys, happy Thursday, or Thursday for me. I am currently with the roomies today and we are at this really cute small town called Mystic, Connecticut. It's so bright right now, but I wanted to check in with you guys. So, so far today, we just kind of had a slower morning and then we went to go grab some lunch at this place called Grass and Bone in Mystic, Connecticut. Just gonna go shopping and go around in the little shops and just explore this small town. It's so cute and really quaint and I just love all of the homes here. They're so lovely and so different than anything that you see in Texas. So, oh, I just burped. That's not cute. The roommates are currently in a in a shop over there, and I wanted to just pull out the camera and check in on you guys and update y'all what we're doing. And we just ate the dessert that I showed you guys, and now we're just gonna shop around until we go to dinner reservations later. So, I'm excited to bring y'all along with this day, day three in Connecticut, and it's just been so joyful, so peaceful, and the weather here is absolutely beautiful i've been pretty cold i'm wearing like this sweater and my jacket white on white no one's surprised and it's been pretty cold but at the same time beautiful and glorious and the sun's out and it's really happy i'll show you guys my outfit real quick so i have my good old white jacket as i always do i have this made well little sweater on my everlane pants and then i just got these little slides and yeah that is my outfit of the day for connecticut day three I'm doing so well Show you photos to the proof that I've been doing so well Wanna hide the truth Wanna dress up hell and heaven like we all try to do I'm scared to call, call, call you back I'm no good, good, good at trying And tell, tell, tell you that I'm not doing yeah, like okay it. But I'm dying like like They you say <laughs> Just take a breath, love Fill your lungs up Rest your head, there's no sense in losing sleep You can break down, let your watch out Lose your temper, but you're not losing me Like I knew that I would 
we do We dress up pain like heaven in a moment of truth I wanna call, call, call you back I'm a go, go, go to try And I tell, tell, tell you that I'm not doing okay But I'm dying yes, to hear you say Oh, you're just take a breath, love Fill your lungs up Rest your head, there's no sense in losing sleep you can... This is real life I can go from this To this Like that <laughs> But anyways, you guys I just brushed my teeth Took off all of my makeup Once again, had a really fun and busy day In Connecticut And I wanted to just catch you guys up On what we did today So we woke up this morning And we went on a hike at this place, I believe it's called, maybe I'll just insert the name because I feel like I'm going to pronounce it wrong, but it's like Gua Frida, Gia Frida, Gia Frida Park or something like that. So we went on a hike this morning and we were probably hiking for about an hour and a half, but it wasn't a super long hike. It was pretty relaxed and kind of slow and steady at our own pace and the view at the top was amazing as i'm sure you guys saw so we went on a hike and we went a little bit later in the day so around 11 a.m i almost said p.m and then we went home around one and we made some breakfast we made some bacon and eggs and potatoes and then we honestly quickly got ready and headed out to the winery this evening. And it was so fun because y'all let me know if this is something that you've seen in Texas or wherever you are in the world. But the winery that we went to today was really cool because you actually got to bring your own food into the winery. And they like require you to buy drinks there, but you can bring absolutely whatever you want to eat. So you can bring any outside food, all your snacks, bring like a whole picnic and you just buy your wine there. So that's what we did. We brought all of our charcuterie board stuff, our meats, our cheeses, our crackers, our dips, all that good stuff, and we just bought two bottles of wine. We only ended up drinking one of them, but it was so fun and so worth it. Now we have another bottle of wine to drink eventually. So we did that and then took some golden hour pictures, which I will show you guys if I haven't already shown y'all. And then we went home to Julia's older sister's house, Marissa, and we spent some time at her house just relaxing and chilling. And then tomorrow is a really exciting day because we are actually going to Boston, Massachusetts. <gasps> I'm so excited. I have never been to Boston. I mean, this is really my first time in the New England area, period. And so I'm just like so stoked to go somewhere new and to go to another new state and another new city that I've heard so much about. So we, and by we, I mean the roomies, Megan and Julia and I, <laughs> were just laying in bed for about an hour or so and we were planning on what we wanted to do tomorrow in Boston. So from Boston to where we are now here in Connecticut, it's about a two hour drive. So it's not too far, but it is a full day. And yeah, that's what's on the agenda. And I just wanted to check in with you guys and let y'all know. And I also wanted to check in with you guys on how I'm doing because like I said, always want to be real and transparent and vulnerable and honestly the past few days have been so sweet and just honestly so restful and I think for me something that this time of just like being off from work and just vacay and being away from Austin has really shown me just how important rest is and how important even YouTube is to me. Like this entire time I've been able to capture little clips here and there for you guys. Like the entire time I've been thinking about you guys, thinking about the video that I want to capture, the memories I want to capture, the moments I want to just capture. And it's just been so sweet just to see how much I really do love YouTube. So just wanted to even take a moment to thank you guys so much for watching and and for encouraging me and championing me because I know that I'm by no means like someone significant according to worldly standards on the YouTube space but this platform and, and you guys bring me so much immense joy unlike anything else I've done to my life up to this point so thank you guys for kind of paving a way for allowing me to do what I love to do and being creative with video and yeah, I think tomorrow is going to be my last day that I vlog this kind of week in a life on vacay because we do have two more days after t tomorrow, but I do want to just take those two days to rest and 
to just recharge and be really present and not to capture every single moment not because i don't want to share but just because i want to cherish some time to myself and to my friends and to just be present so yes last day of vlogging will start tomorrow and i'm gonna get some sleep it's 11 p.m if i haven't said that and i need some rest you can tell i'm tired because my eyes are red i don't know if you can see that can you see it I feel like I'm making the weirdest face in the world. Um, but yeah, you guys, I love y'all. And also, I look so shiny. You look really close to me. I look weirdly shiny. I don't know if it'll focus on me, but I look weirdly shiny just because I have so much cream on me. Got my eye cream. Got my moisturizer. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, I'm just rambling. I've been talking for six minutes. Okay. Well... That's gonna get cut down. But anyways, guys, I love y'all. I'll see you tomorrow in Boston. Just take a breath, love. Fill your lungs up. Rest your head there. There's no sense in losing sleep. You can break down. Let your worst out. Lose your temper. But you're not losing me.